Okay, YouTube, we're here looking at a project where I'm trying to compare two different types of epoxy. This is, these are both 30 minute epoxies. This one's called Flex Cure, which is made by a company called Red Baron Adhesives. 4.5 ounce set, um, costs uh, $7.95. I just took that off of the package, that's why it's kind of crapped up. Sorry, guys. But it was it was eight bucks, June twenty fifth, two thousand sixteen, at uh, Hobby Town, here in Ankeny, Iowa. Um, the same thing here. I just got the Slow Cure epoxy, just the Bob Smith brand, um, which basically holds the rights to this product, this product, this product, all these all these products, including that um, kicker. Guys, the autofocus is doing really bad on this. I apologize. Um, what I've been trying to track down is some of this, which is a rubber cement product. If any of you watching this knows how I can get this. This is a foam safe designed for EPO and EPP. It will not react. It's what they use to hold pieces like this together when they put them together at the factory. It stays rubbery. It's a one piece. It's not a two piece. I don't like having to mix epoxy when I build planes. This is from my wreckage on the A320 in case you're wondering. Um, and so, But I don't mind doing it when I'm putting wings on and things are really critical. So I've been just doing this test and wanted to share my results. Here it is about uh, um, a little after 445 I started this test uh, 125 for, for this side and 120 p.m. on this side. 30 minute epoxy comes to full cure at 24 hours. For this and this, I believe they're both 24 hours. Full cure in six to eight hours. I take it back. This is quite a bit um, stronger at six to eight hours. And then I've also got the five minute. I did not run that in this test. And I'll show you what I'm using it on. I've got my new, here's my crashed A320. Um, working on A330. This is the sort of thing I'm working on right now. It's just attaching the control horns. That I don't mind using a five minute epoxy for because if it's gonna break, it's probably because I hit a control surface in a crash, it's gonna break anyway. It's not gonna break under normal controls. Um, but as you could probably imagine, um, you know, like on the flaps and all these different things, I've already freed them all up. Uh, there shouldn't be any problem with a five minute epoxy. Some people are gonna say, oh no, use a one hour, use a six day epoxy. No, I'm not doing that. I got better things to do with my life. Um, never crashed a plane because of a broken control horn, except for one time and it was on this bad boy here. Broke the elevator control horn, which resulted in a complete failure and broke a motor that was one flight old, bummer, right? Anyway, results. This thing is the mixing stick I used. This is a mixing stick I used. Just a piece of steel, nothing magical. Um, I took and glued just like a thin piece of foam. I just kind of keep these little pieces of garbage sitting around. <laughs> this was um, just sort of that stuff you get in packaging. <coughs> Excuse me. And then this was EPO um, that came off of an airplane. Um, I'm trying to remember exactly what plane it was. Either way, it was off of one of my planes, definitely EPO. I think it might have been off of my dead ANX Clouds Fly. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. It was an ANX Clouds Fly. So I know for sure. So these are two triangular pieces. Um, I use the factory finished edge, which will sometimes have a little bit of, and you can see, she came apart. Um, I was pulling hard, but not really that hard. I had an ample amount. I glued this first when I mixed it. It also failed on the plastic. The plastic has a bit of a coating on it, and then it was very weak on this. Now, that being said, they even say on the package, they say, rough it up. Does it say it on this one? Clean surfaces. Applies to both sides. Maybe this one says the sand. But anyway, I use it on the factory surface on purpose because obviously when I put my wing on, you know, my my other Airbus A330, I'm going to be applying it to 
a pseudo finished part I'm going to be scoring it up with you know an exacto knife or something of the sort but just to give you some idea we're talking about same exact scenario I mean I use the same amount of product it, it, it failed too but I had to work pretty hard at it now this one's still hanging on a little bit the problem is what I'm looking for is I'm looking for a rubbery connection that's going to hold this failed this was weak just like this so um just to show you this is rubbery which is good and then this is really stiff but it feels like it would hold better than this okay so it came off just then but it i mean you saw how much of an extreme i went to i mean gosh if you had your wing bent that much your wing's coming off i hate to break it to you same thing here because your wing will just break in half if it's any stronger. But boy, that was, that was a lot stronger. But guys, I'm not trying to beat up either of these brands. I'm just trying to show you what I learned from this little unscientific test. The other thing is I'm working residue off of unlike materials. I knew that that would cause some weakening, if you will, because it's going to dry too quick. Um, but on this plastic, I was super disappointed that both of them failed. Um... I really had higher hopes, but that being understood, and we learn from all of our failures in the RC community, I need to score this up before I use either of them. I don't care if it's a five minute, a one second, that doesn't exist, 30 minute, 30 minute, one hour, whatever, it doesn't matter, 15 minute, 10 minute, it doesn't matter. You need to make a little bit of um, material to grab onto, and I'll just show you the, the sticks I was using here, just cut these up. You can see there's the smooth one. That was the factory finished edge. This is a cut edge. And I just made it them up together because I figured that would be the best demonstration. But you got to remember there's a little bit of mold release that gets on this stuff. And I think that might have been why we got a relatively weak bond. Now, if I really wanted to do it right, I'd have come over here, grabbed a sanding block, took and roughed up the end, put the epoxy on roughed up the end, put the epoxy on, and then made it the parts. That would have given me more surface area, and would have given it something to hold on to, um, so that it would have been a success. But anyway, just to, just to give you an idea of price points, um, this one here was, like I said, eight bucks. It was $7.95 plus tax, of course. And then this one here was, um, came in this fancy case, of course, 10 bucks. So, more expensive, I would say arguably proportionately more strong, but we're looking for flexi cure as opposed to a hard cure. You know, apples to oranges, yeah, you could say that. I would say this is an apples to oranges comparison, but somebody had to compare it. Or you could just spend 30 seconds and put on your, you know, your your thin or your thick or whatever you need foam safe and it would work also but what i really want is i want somebody online one of you smart guys out there to tell me what this is and i'm just gonna put a little bit of this out so you can see what we're dealing with this is like rubber cement that you use when you were in school you see that consistency it's got a little string hanging that's the stuff that's just in the lid and you can see from that just understanding that this stuff comes out, it comes out thin. It, sorry guys, I gotta hold the camera a little bit funny here for a minute. Okay, so you can see it comes out. And I hate to sacrifice this little dab, but I'll tell you what, if I stuck these things together, sorry it's off camera, I know. If I stick these together, not only will they hold within minutes, but this bond will be quite strong. I had a hobby shop local here, um, the other hobby shop in town, which is called Hobby Haven. Very good shop. They're both good shops. I like both owners. I like both staff. I prefer Hobby Town because I'm in Ankeny. They're in Ankeny. I prefer Hobby Haven because they have more employees that know a lot more of what's going on. But they're a long ways from my house, so it's, it's frustrating. Not a long ways, just a lot further. They're mostly on a road that I don't like going down. That sounds ridiculous, I know, but... Guys, look, it's already holding. I'm not saying that I'm going to sit here and fly this plane if this is a plane. But this thing's going to dry, and it's going to be, oh, I would say, you know, 85 to 110% of that hold. It's still going to rip, just like this did. 
except it's gonna rip slower. This bond is gonna break and it's gonna string out and almost like when you rip two cardboard pieces, you know, it always has that little stripe where the glue had uh, made of the two surfaces. Now this is what everybody tells me I need to use. Is this, the, again, another Bob Smith product that's called EPP and EPO foam glue. And you're thinking, well, duh, it's right there. It says it right there. No, this stuff doesn't work as good. Um, and, you know, real quick, I'll just demonstrate that so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And then maybe you guys can still give me an answer. I got my little small bottle. I always refill the small bottles, get the big bottles so that... Uh, I get the, you know, the bulk pricing because I go through a lot of this crap. I mean, my wife realized how much I spent on all this crap. She'd probably not be too happy. Um, but luckily she doesn't. <laughs> anyway, let's just, even on this glue joint, let's just go ahead and put a little on here. We're just going to see. Sorry, I know it's off camera. You'll get over it. Dang it. Stuck on the shelf. That's all right. So this stuff, it's, it's easy to work with. It does sort of work okay. Um, one thing I'm not crazy about is that it is, um, it'll get really thin. See, this stuff, it only spreads so far. Okay, so it's together. Everybody's hunky-dory. If you want to increase the speed it's, it's uh, setting up, you can take and separate these two halves and put them back together, which is not unlike this. But look, that thing is like, that thing is bonded pretty well. Boy, wouldn't you guys love it if my autofocus worked? Okay, so now that that's separated, you can stick it back together. And it's bonded, okay? Same thing you can do with this one. The difference is... See, like, it's already weak. Now, I, I realize I glued onto a glue joint, so I'll take this one and I'll glue onto a virgin spot. Um... The other thing is this stuff, stuff ain't cheap. I mean, really, it's not as expensive as CA, but. Okay, so let's put this on here. And you can see I'm not applying it to two surfaces. I'm applying a big blob to one side and I'm just squishing them together. Um, okay. And you can see it doesn't go very far, right? That stuff goes along a lot further. This is A320 because it came with the Supreme Hobbies kit. I got two of these that came with that airplane okay problem is when i got the 330 they had a problem with yellowing glue so they must have either pulled out their defective glue or whatever they claimed it was defective because it turned turned yellow which is fine but then they didn't replace it with anything so i'm stuck here like looking for an appropriate adhesive and that's why i'm doing this review today so anyway real quick just looking at the way these see i mean look it's already falling apart it's just junk it that it doesn't hold you have to get so thick with the glue and you have to have such a perfect surface that it just becomes useless, in my opinion. Now, there are applications where this works great. We have an example. I make these holders for my planes, right? And what it does is it holds two unlike materials really well together. And that would be the foam, like that foam that's very air pockety right to a piece of steel and then I can protect the wings of my airplanes that are hung upside down for a few days between flights or if I was a normal person a few weeks or months between flights so that works really good it's one of the best contacts I've got and then if you juxtapose that to to this junk that you get at Walmart for more like um, you know like hobby projects it would work okay if you're putting fabric together but it's not gonna work if you're doing what we're doing so anyway, I just, I want to know your opinions. If you are still watching this video at 15 minutes, you need to find something to do with your life. Like, tell me what to do to replace this. Anyway, all right, thanks for watching, guys. If I get some replies, I'm be thrilled. If I don't, I'm not going to probably lose any sleep. Don't feel bad. But if you know where to buy it, tell me. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, even if you hated this video. Thank you.